So we're gonna start in a seated position. Um, Sukhasana, if that feels like a good way to sit or any other seat that feels comfortable in your body and just allows you to sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> All right, so get comfortable on your mat, find that nice tall uplifted spine. And then if it feels good to do so, just let your eyes close down or just soften your gaze. And then give your mind and your body a moment to come to your mat. As your mind starts to quiet down and your body starts to settle in, <clears throat> just take a second to wiggle around just a little bit to make sure your body feels like it's really in a nice and comfortable position. And then see if you can start to find this nice lift up through your spine. Almost imagine that there's a little string pulling you up from the top of your head. And then once you've found that uplifted sensation, see if you can let your shoulders soften down away from your ears. And then wherever your hands are, we're gonna flip the palms so palms are facing open towards the ceiling. And then as you inhale, you're just gonna roll your fingers in, make a little fist and squeeze your hand. And then as you exhale, roll your fingers out and stretch your fingers as wide as you can. Inhale and roll your fingers in, make a little fist and squeeze. Exhale and roll the fingers out and stretch your fingers nice and wide. And then do that one more time. Inhale, roll your fingers in, give a little squeeze. Roll your fingers out, stretch your fingers wide, and then flip your palms over, palms facing down. And then take a moment just to come back to your breath. Take a nice deep inhale. Nice, slow exhale. On your next inhale, just let your shoulders float up to your ears, a little squeeze in the muscles in the side of the neck. And then as you exhale, let your shoulders soften and just melt down away from your ears. Inhale and let your shoulders lift, maybe a light little squeeze in the muscles in the side of the neck. Exhale and let your shoulders melt down. One more just like that. Inhale, let your shoulders lift. Exhale, shoulders soften down. And then we're gonna roll the shoulders. So we're gonna pull the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades, draw them up towards your ears and then draw them forward. So you get a little squeeze in the armpit chest. Draw the shoulders down and back, squeeze between the shoulder blades, pull them up to the ears and then roll them forward. One more time in that direction. Draw them down, pull them back, lift up towards your ears, round them forward, and then soften down. And then we're gonna go in the other direction. So we're gonna draw the shoulders forward, up to the ears, roll them around, down and back. Beautiful, add the breath here. Inhale, draw them forward and up. Exhale to bring them down. One more time here. Inhale, draw them forward. Exhale to take them back, nice. And then stack both hands right on top of your heart. <clears throat> eyes closed down or just soften your gaze, but pause here for a moment and set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. And then with that intention set, keep your hands on your heart, but put a little press on. So we're just gonna press into the skin or the connective tissue at the heart center. And then just start to turn your head gently side to side, like you're looking over your shoulder. And just finding a gentle rhythm here. You don't have to go to the extreme. So just start to turn your head, notice. Maybe you'll notice the movement of muscle in between your shoulder blades. Maybe you'll notice a gentle bit of movement of the connective tissue underneath your hands. Take one more turn of your head side to side. And then as you bring your head back to center, release your hands and swim them right behind you. Nice tall fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. Awesome, and then release and we're gonna take it right into a seated twist. So right hand's gonna find the left knee, left hand stays behind you. Rotate just as deep as feels comfortable and then tune in and notice. Notice the breath in the side of your body.
Take one more breath. Cool, and then when you're ready, release and take your twist over to the other side. So left hand's gonna find the right knee, right hand behind you. Take a moment to tune in and notice the breath in the sides of your body. Awesome, and then when you're ready, release. Both hands are gonna catch hold of the knees, and then we're gonna just take it back to the head and the neck. Inhale, lift your chin up to the sky. Exhale and tuck your chin down to your chest. Inhale and lift your chin up. Exhale to tuck your chin down. One more, just like that. Inhale, lift your chin up. Exhale and tuck your chin down. And then we're going to move into the spine as well. So move it into a seated cat cow as you inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. And as you exhale, round your back, pull the abdominal muscles in around your shoulders. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest, arch your back. Exhale and round your back. Nice, one more just like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Awesome, and then find a neutral spine and now we're gonna drop the left ear over to the left shoulder and just let it get nice and heavy. So we're stretching through the side of the neck. Eyes closed or open, that's totally up to you, but give a moment here, allowing the ear to be heavy. Take a nice deep breath in. And then see if it feels good to reach your right hand out, let your fingertips touch the floor just to create a little bit of long line of energy from the fingertips to the crown of your head. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Release your hand, lift your head to a neutral position and then we're gonna take it over to the other side. Let your right ear drop to your right shoulder, hang out there for a second. Maybe even close your eyes down so you can just tune in. Awesome, and then if it feels good, left hand's gonna reach down, fingertips touch the floor, so we just create that nice long line. Take one more breath. Beautiful, release your hand, release your head. And then we're gonna lean back into the sits bones, swing your legs out in front of you with a super generous bend of the knees. So we're in a little bit of a seated ragdoll setup. And then when you're ready, take a big breath, lift the belly up and over, make a little space for yourself and then just fold yourself over. Let your belly and your chest rest on your thighs. Let your hands rest wherever feels the most comfortable. And then invite some softness into the back of the body, soften the back of your neck. Soften the space between your shoulders. As you soften the space between your shoulders, can you take a nice big breath there and just notice the movement of breath in your body? <clears throat> and take one more breath. And then when you're ready, come up nice and slow. We're gonna keep that bent knee position, but maybe walk the heels in a little bit closer. Lean back into your hands and then just swish your knees side to side, just to bring a little fluid movement into the hips and massage the glutes. Nice, one more swish of the knee side to side. And then we're gonna move right into a deer seat. So swing your legs out to one side, maybe right leg in front, left leg out to the side. And then once you've got yourself arranged, we're just gonna take a gentle fold. So you're gonna walk yourself forward to a nice position that feels good to you and then soften. So let your elbows be soft, soften through the back of the body. Take a nice big breath in and just take a second here to notice. Notice how your knees feel, notice how your hips feel and notice how your low back feels. Take one more breath and then come up nice and slow. Gently walk your hands up and in. We're gonna lean back into the sits bone so we can swing the legs out and around to the other side. Take your time as you set yourself up. Give a second to wiggle into your bum. And then once you feel like you're there, fold yourself forward just lightly. Don't go super extreme and then soften. Soften your elbows, soften through the back of your body. And then take a second here to notice. How do your knees feel? How do your hips feel? How does your low back feel? And take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully bring yourself back up, lean back into your sit bones, swing your legs out in front of you. And now we're gonna keep a nice bent knee position and floss the hamstring. So we're gonna take our little basket weave, hold on to the back of the right leg, pick it up. Inhale, lift your foot, flex your foot, lift your chin. Exhale and bring it down, tuck your chin slightly. Inhale, lift your foot, lift your chin, flex your foot. 
Exhale, soften and tuck your chin slightly. Beautiful, one more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to lower down. Beautiful, and then head comes to neutral, release that leg and we'll take it to the other side. Make your basket weave, pick that leg up. And here we go, inhale, lift your foot, flex your foot, lift your chin. Exhale, soften down, tuck your chin slightly. Nice, inhale to lift. Exhale to soften. Beautiful, one more time, just like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale to soften. Awesome. And then release that foot. We're going to take it into Baddha Konasana or uh, cobbler's pose, soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. <clears throat> and then once you've got yourself situated, make sure you feel good like you're on top of your sits bones. We're going to bring the hands right to the insides of the knees. So we're going to push our hands into our knees as we push our knees up into our hands. So rather than trying to push your knees down, really what we're shooting for is to push the knees upwards. So your arms are going to create a little bit of resistance. Knees are pushing up, but hands are just helping create that little resistance there. Take one more big breath. Keep pushing down as you push up. Cool. And then release and then pull those knees together. We're going to swing them around, find your way into a tabletop position. So come on to all fours, knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. And then once you've found your way there, just take a second just to assess how do your knees feel? Do you need to double cushion your mat? And then if all is feeling good, move right into a cat cow breath here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale and round your back. Inhale to drop your belly. Exhale to round your back. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round, nice. And then we're gonna add on to this. So as you inhale, drop your belly, curl your toes under, keep your belly dropped, keep the toes curled under, nod your head up and down three times. Beautiful. And then as your head pulls back up, pull the abdominal muscles up and in, keep your toes curled under and pull your butt back to your heels. Take a nice big breath. And then we're gonna keep those toes curled under, inhale, come forward, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail, keep the belly down, keep the toes curled under, nod your head up and down three times. Awesome, and then head comes to a neutral position, keep the toes curled under, pull the abdominal muscles in, pull your butt back toward your heels, get a little stretch to the toes and the bottoms of the feet, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then we're gonna do that one more time. Come forward, drop your belly, lift your chest, keep the toes curled under, keep the belly dropped, nod your head up and down three times. And then as your head comes to neutral, keep the toes curled under, pull the abdominal muscles in, pull your butt back to your heels, and then we're gonna stay here just a little bit longer. So if it feels good to do so, you're gonna rock your hips a little side to side just to bring that stretch of the toes to the pinky toes and to the big toes. If you're wiggling those hips, take one more wiggle side to side and then bring it back up to tabletop position. Release your left toes, but keep the right toes curled under. Slide the right leg back. Take three to five rocks forward and back, just finding a pace that works good for you. Finding a little stretch in the heel and a little stretch in the calf. <clears throat> awesome, and then when you're ready, slide that foot in and we'll switch sides. Left toes are gonna curl under, slide that left leg back and then take a few rocks forward and back. Nice, and then when you're ready, slide that leg in. We're gonna move right into a spinal balance. So keep your tabletop position. Left hand, right leg are gonna slide out. And then if you've got stability, you're gonna lift up, lifting the left arm, lifting the right leg, firming up your abdomen, gazing down at the floor. Take a nice big breath in. Nice, slow breath out. And then release with control. And we'll take it to the other side. Left leg is gonna slide out, right hand's gonna slide forward. And then if it feels good to do so, you're gonna lift up. Find a little stability here, firm up your belly, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release it with control. Keep the hips in line with the knees, move right into your puppy pose or heart melting pose. Hands are gonna walk towards the top edge of your mat. Let your chest and your forehead melt down and take three nice big breaths here.
take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly and gently bring yourself back up, but we're gonna bring the big toes together, knees to the outer edges of our mat and find your way back to extended child's pose. So pull your butt back to your heels, soften your belly, your chest, your forehead down, and then let your arms be kind of soft here. So rather than efforting or reaching through the arms, just take a second to come back to your breath. Take a nice big inhale and see if you can notice your breath in the back side of your body, the back side of the ribs, maybe even the side of your ribs. Take one more breath. Cool, and then when you're ready, nice and easy, start to bring yourself back up, walk your knees in, finding your tabletop position, curl both toes under on an exhale, bring it up to downward facing dog. And then as you find your way up, just start to pedal out the legs, bending one knee and pressing into the opposite heel. Take one or two more pedals of each leg. And then when you're ready, we're gonna look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a ragdoll fold at the top of your mat. So feet about hip or shoulder distance apart, whatever depth works for you there. Nice, super generous bend in the knees, make some space for your belly and your chest, and then let everything just hang nice and heavy here. Soften the back of your neck, soften through the back of your body. Take a nice big breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Two more cycles of breath here, just noticing that nice buoyant lift with the inhale and that softening with your exhale. Cool, and then when you're ready, super generous, bend in the knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, pull your ribs up towards the ceiling and then roll your way up nice and strong. And then as you come up, start to take a couple of good shrugs of the shoulders rolling in one direction. And then take a couple of good shrugs of your shoulders rolling in the other direction. Awesome. And then in that standing position, fingertips are gonna find the shoulders and we're gonna start to circle the elbows. Start small, let the movement be small, start to tune in and notice. And then as the shoulders get a little bit warmer, maybe you increase your range of motion and allow the elbows to meet in the middle. Take one more circle around in this direction and then we'll reverse and go the other way. Start small, allow a little time for that movement. And then if it feels good to do so, increase your range of motion. Nice, take one more circle around and then right hand's gonna touch down to the thigh. Left hand's gonna reach up alongside your ear. Take a gentle side bend over to the right and then switch. Left hand's gonna touch down, right hand's gonna reach up. Take a gentle side bend over to the left. Beautiful, back to the other side, right hand touches down, left hand reaches up, gentle side bend to the right. Awesome, left hand down, right hand reaches up and side bend over to the left. Beautiful, one more time each side, right hand down, left hand up. Left hand down, right hand up. Awesome, and then bring it back to center. Roll the shoulders down and back and then pause for a moment at the top of your mat. Find your mountain pose here. Anchor into your feet, lift up through the top of your head. Eyes closed or open, that's totally up to you, but just take a moment here to come back to your breath. Nice, generous inhale. Nice, slow exhale. If your eyes are closed, gently open them. As you inhale, raise your arms up and look up. And as you exhale, bring your hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. One more, just like that. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your side. And we're gonna take it a little further. Inhale, arms up and look up. As you exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold, make that seven shape with your body. Beautiful, keep that length in your spine, bend your knees, push into your feet, inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. 
Inhale to half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine. Bend your knees. Push into your feet. Inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center. Hands down at your sides. One more just like that. Inhale, arms up. Look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine. Bend your knees. Push into your feet. Inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center. We're going to interlace the fingers here. Flip the palms. Press them forward. Glide the shoulders down. Firm up your belly, lift up from the soles of your feet. So think about pulling your big toe back towards your heels. So we find that padabanda, that lift from the soles of the feet, and then press your arms up and overhead as you lift from the soles of your feet. Take a nice big breath in. Nice slow breath out. Beautiful. Unlace your fingers, float your hands down, roll your shoulders around, down and back. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Knees bent or straight, that'll be totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, stepping the right leg back to a low lunge. So we're gonna bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, that'll be totally up to you. Hand to your front knee, lift your chest. Pull your left hip crease back, raise your arms up, take a nice big breath, and then float your hands down. We're gonna frame that front foot, take one half split here, take it gentle. Pull your hips back, maybe don't go to the full depth that you normally go to, pull your toes up, and then right away, rock yourself forward, curl your back toes under, lift your back knee up. Nice, and then we're gonna take three bends and straightens of that front leg. So keep a nice micro bend in the knee so you're not pulling against the hamstring too much. Bend the knee back down, straighten the leg just a little bit, bend the knee back down. Beautiful, one more just like that. Straighten the knee just a little bit, bend the knee back down and then plant your palms, step back to a plank. Beautiful. Bring your knees down. Gently lower onto your belly. Come down in a way that feels nice to you. Three low cobras here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. On this last one, we're going to do a lift and hold. So as you inhale, lift, and then hold that position. Lift your hands away from the floor. Feel that strength in your back. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful, release your hands down, push your way up into a tabletop position, curl your toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog. Take a pedal of each leg. And then when you're ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale, soften down, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders around, down and back. Find your mountain pose again. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, the back toes are tucked or released, that's up to you. Hand to the front knee, lift your chest, pull the right hip crease back, raise your arms up, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then float those hands down, taking it back to that mini half split. So don't go to the extreme that you normally go. Pull back gently just a little bit and then rock yourself forward. Curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up, three bends and straightens of that front leg, reaching through the back of your hips and then bend as you lift your chest. Beautiful. Lifting up, bend it back down. Nice. One more time, just like that. And then as you come back to that lunge, plant your palms, step back to a plank. Awesome, from here, bring your knees down, lower down onto your belly. We're gonna set up into a sphinx position from here. So as you come down onto the belly, you're gonna walk your elbows and forearms in so that your elbows are in line with your shoulders, hands are in a parallel position. And then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Heart comes forward, lifting your gaze slightly. Imagine that you're pulling your elbows back towards your ribs. So you get that energetic squeeze through the back of the body. And then we're gonna reach through the toes and see if you can get your knees to kind of lift away from the floor as you reach through the toes. And then keeping that semi-lifted position, keeping that sphinx with the top half of your body, right leg is gonna kick in. So you're gonna just pull the heel in towards your butt, give a little kick, kick, and then reach it nice and long, keeping the knees lifted. Bend your left knee, heel comes in for a little kick, kick, and then reach it nice and long. Beautiful, back to the right leg. Bring the heel in, give a little kick, kick, and then release. Bring the left heel in, give a little kick, kick, and release. Right leg comes in, a little kick, kick, and reach. And then left leg comes in, a little kick, kick, and reach. Nice, let your toes soften back down to the ground, release your bum, and then we're gonna walk those elbows out nice and wide, 
and then we're gonna move into a little scorpion twist. So right hand is gonna reach out at your side, roll onto your right hip, step your left foot behind you, roll right back onto your belly. Left hand is gonna reach out, slide your right hand in, roll onto your left and step your right foot behind you. Beautiful, roll back onto your belly, right hand out, roll onto that hip, step your left foot behind you, bring it back in, left hand reaches out, we roll onto that left hip and step the right foot behind. Lovely, one more time each side. Reaching your right hand out, roll to the right. Come back to center, take it over to the left. Awesome, bring it back to the belly, slide your hands in, push your way up to a tabletop position, curl the toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward. Walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Take a second to just get situated at the top of your mat. And then we're gonna take a little balance here. So start by just tuning in, shift your weight over to your left foot, peel your right heel up, keep the big toe on the ground. Notice where your balance is at here. Set your right heel down, shift your weight onto your right foot, pick your left heel up, keep the big toe on the ground and notice your balance here. So now if you feel like you are all over the place with the toe on the ground, you might choose to use a wall or a chair or a little support system. But if all feels like it's good to play around, shift your weight back over to that left foot, pick your right heel up, pick the heel up off the ground and then we're gonna push the heel forward. So we're gonna get a little kick through the leg, nice and strong. So we're pushing through the heel and then notice if that right hip started to pick up, can you square up your hips? So it doesn't have to be a super high kick or anything like that. But what we're shooting for is pushing energy out through the heel, square in the hips, take one more breath and then bend, release that foot down, shift your weight over to the right foot, pick the left knee up. And then when you're ready, push the heel forward, a nice kick through the foot, but it's firm. Pushing through the heel, notice your hips. If they got a little out of, out, of, out of kilter, pull it back up so both hips are nice and square. Keep pushing energy through that heel. Take one more breath. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, set that foot down, take a second, bounce up both of your knees, and then find your mountain pose again. Reaching through the feet, lifting up through the crown of your head. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. We're gonna stay in this folded position. Right hand's gonna get those nice tall cupcake hands. We're gonna bend the right knee. Left leg is gonna straighten. Left hand is gonna reach up to the sky. So a little twist through the spine. Beautiful, release that hand down, soften both knees. And now left hand's gonna tent the fingers, bend that left knee, straighten your right, reach your right hand up towards the sky. Awesome, release it down nice and slow. Bend both knees, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position, roll your shoulders around, down and back, shift your weight over to your left foot, pick your right knee up nice and high, as high as you can control, keep it sustained, and then see if you can push the heel forward, take one good breath, gently bring it back in, set that foot down, shift your weight onto your right foot, pick your left knee up as high as you can, push the heel forward, Take one good breath. Awesome, bend that knee, bring it in, set it down. Find your mountain pose again. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, low lunge, bring the knee down with the breath this time if you can. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to float the hands down. Pull back to one half split, pull the hips back, peel the front toes up, rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up. Beautiful, plant your palms, step back to plank. Nice, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, keep that planking spine as you lower with control onto your belly. One cobra here, just as high as you like, inhale as you lift your heart up. Exhale, bring it up to downward facing dog. Right leg up into three-legged dog. We're gonna bend that knee, let the hip roll open. Take a nice big breath. 
Beautiful. And then release that foot to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk, step, or hop your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, nice left leg back, low lunge, bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, totally up to you with the breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down. Draw back half splits, peel the toes up. Rock yourself forward, find your lunge, plant your palms, step back to a plank. Nice and strong here, bring your knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, keep that planking spine as you lower down with control. One cobra here, just as high as you like. Exhale up to down dog. Beautiful, left leg comes up into three-legged dog, bend the knee, let the hip roll open. Nice, and then release that leg into downward facing dog. Look forward, walk, step, or hop your feet up to the top of your mat, find your forward fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Nice, and now we're gonna grab our TheraBand or yoga strap, whatever you're working with today. Taking it back to that balanced position, we're gonna take our TheraBand or our strap and we're just gonna catch hold of the right foot. So you're gonna make a little U shape with your band and then place your right foot into the band. And then you're gonna choke up on it just enough so you can get a little bit of a firm handhold, extend your right leg out. And then if you can hold both ends, so same hand, same foot, we're gonna extend the right leg out nice and wide as your left hand opens into a cactus position. Take one good breath and then with control, bring it all back in, release that foot, let it go, set it down, bounce it out, shake out anything that you need to. And then we're gonna take it over to the other side. So make that little U shape with your band, place your left foot in, lift up, and then get a nice firm handhold. So you're gonna choke up on that TheraBand or the yoga strap just as hard as feels good. And then once you've got a good handhold, swing the leg out as your right arm opens into cactus position. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, bring it all back in. Release that foot from the strap. Take a second to shake it out and then take that strap behind you, palms facing backwards. We're gonna get a nice little position that we can move the arms fairly freely away from the back of the body, get a little bit of movement going on there. And then once you feel like you've got a good wide position, a nice handhold that works good for your shoulders, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold over and let your arms fall away from the back of your body. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, soften your knees, let your hands fall towards your low back, lift up through the top of your head, let your heart follow, come up nice and slow, set your yoga strap and your TheraBand off to the side. And now we're gonna give ourselves a nice little hug. So wrap your hands around, one arm on top, grab the shoulders, pull the shoulders down, pull the abdominal muscles in, pull the elbows down as you round through the upper back body, tuck your chin into your chest, take a nice big breath. Notice which arm is on top as you come up. Open your arms nice and wide just to stretch through the front of the body and then the other arm's gonna come on top. Give yourself a little hug. Catch the shoulders, shoulders draw down, abdominal muscles pull in, elbows draw down as you tuck chin into chest. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful, inhale, lift up, open your arms nice and wide. And now we're gonna take it into some eagle arms. So as you give yourself a little hug, you're gonna wrap your hands around and see how that feels. Finding that palm connection, Thumbs slightly away from the face. Now we're gonna take this into a little fold here. So you're gonna bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold over and keep those eagle arms if you can, but keep it as a so sort of soft position. So you don't need to effort too much and then allow your elbows to just be kind of heavy here. Soften through the back of your neck, take a nice big breath, notice the space between your shoulder blades.
bend your knees, firm up your belly, lift through the top of your head, come up slow and controlled. Notice which arm is on top, open your arms nice and wide, lift your chest, and then the other arm is gonna come on top and we're gonna wrap those hands around. So find your eagle arms in the other direction, palm to palm, thumbs slightly away from the face. And then once you've got your arms set up, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold over. Let your elbows be heavy here, soften through the back of your neck, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, soft bend in the knees, firm from your abdomen, lift up nice and strong and controlled. Unleash your arms, hands are gonna come into your back pocket, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chest, lift your gaze, take a gentle back bend here. Nice, and then when you're ready, release back to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, low lunge, bring the knee down with the breath. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, float your hands down. And now we're gonna take three half splits here. So pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. And then as you rock forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Beautiful, pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Lovely, one more time, just like that. Pull the hips back, peel the toes up. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. And now we're gonna take it back to that half splits, but we're gonna stay there just a little bit longer. So pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. And then you're gonna walk your hands in just a little bit closer to your body so that you can lift through the front of your body, create a nice long line of energy through the front of your chest. And then once you found that long line of energy, soften forward, but keep that long lifted and lengthening sensation. So we wanna feel sensation through the back of that left leg. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful, one more breath here. And then when you're ready with control, lift yourself up, curl the back toes under, pick the back knee up, right hand down, left hand reaches for a little twist. And then bring that left hand down, plant the palms, step back to plank with control. Bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Exhale up to downward facing dog. Right leg up into three-legged dog, bend the knee, let the hip roll open. And then if it feels good to do so, you're gonna step that right foot up to the top of your mat, finding a little lunge. Pause in that lunge for a moment, lift your chest, lift your gaze. And then we're gonna step that back foot up to meet, come into your forward fold here. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge, back toes tucked or released, that's up to you. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, float your hands down. Draw the hips back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Pull yourself back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. One more time, just like that. Rock yourself back. Rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. And then we're gonna pull it back to half splits and stay there a little bit longer. So peel the toes up. And then once you found a good position, just making sure that that left knee or that standing knee Feels good. Walk your hands a little closer to your body. Lift through the front of the body. Create that nice long line of energy. Keep that long line and then soften towards your knee. Beautiful. Take one more breath. When you're ready, rock yourself forward. Curl the back toes under. Pick your back knee up. Left hand is gonna stay on the ground, right hand's gonna reach up for a little twist. Beautiful, bring that right hand down, frame the front foot, step that foot back to plank, lower your knees, rotate the eyes, the elbows, hug the elbows into the ribs, keep that planking spine as you lower with control. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Exhale up to downward facing dog. 
Left leg up into three-legged dog, bend the knee, let the hip roll open. Awesome, and then if it feels good, you're gonna step that left foot through to the top of your mat, finding a lunge. Once you've found that lunge, heart forward, look forward, take a breath, and then step that back foot up to meet, find your forward fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dog. Right leg is gonna come up into three-legged dog. Bend the knee, let the hip roll open. And then we're gonna step that right foot up to the top right corner of the mat. So nice and wide to the outside of the pinky finger. Once you've got your way there, bring your back knee down, release your back toes. Cool, and then we're gonna see if it feels good. Right hand is gonna to come to the inside of the knee. You're gonna push the knee open just to a depth that feels good to you. And then draw your right shoulder back. Look over your right shoulder, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, when you're ready, release. We're gonna bring the hands down to the ground. Keep that wide position with the leg and then think half splits again. We're gonna draw the hips back but this time reach through the front toes. So rather than peeling the toes up, reach your toes towards the top end of your mat and see if you can feel a little stretch through the top of the ankle and the top of the foot. Take one more breath. Nice, and then when you're ready, rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick that back knee up. We're gonna see if we can step that front leg back to a three-legged dog, so kick it up nice and high. Awesome, release that leg with control and then over to the left side. Left leg is gonna reach up three-legged dog. Bend that knee, let the hip roll open. Beautiful, left leg up to the top left corner of the mat. So to the outside of that left pinky finger. Nice, and then bring that back knee down, release your back toes. Left hand to the left knee or the inside of the knee, gently pushing the knee open just to a depth that feels good to you. Draw the left shoulder back, look over your shoulder, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, when you're ready, release as you come back to center, your foot comes back onto the flat and then pull your hips back, but reach through the toes. So toes are pointing towards the end of your mat. Beautiful, when you're ready, rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under. We're gonna step that left leg up to three-legged dog. So kick it up nice and high. Awesome, and then release it to downward facing dog. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, come to a tabletop position. Back to that spinal balance. So left hand and right leg are gonna reach out. You're gonna see if you can lift it up and then maybe take it into a tiger pose. So we're gonna bend that right leg, reach your left hand back, see if you can catch hold of that foot. If you've got hold of the foot, think about pushing your foot into your hand and get a nice firm handhold to open up just a little further. Take a nice big breath. Release back through spinal balance. So reach the leg and the arm out, lower it with control, reset anything that you need to, but then we're gonna take it to the other side. So left leg, right hand are gonna reach out, maybe lift up. And then if it feels available, bend that left knee, reach your right hand back, catch hold of the foot, and then push your foot into your hand and open up. Beautiful, when you're ready, release through that spinal balance, lower it with control. Big toes together, knees together, take it back to child's pose. Pull your butt back to your heels. Arms can reach out in front of you or reach back, whatever feels better to you here. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, float your hands forward, lift your butt up away from your heels, swing your legs out to one side. We're gonna sit back onto our butts and then take it right into a wide leg position. So you're gonna step your feet out to a depth that feels good to you, going only as wide as feels the most comfortable to you and then bring some energy into it. Pull the toes back, 
inner thighs get nice and active and get nice and tall lift up through the crown of your head. Nice. And then we're going to keep all of that energy going on with the legs. Walk your hands forward one step. Keep the nice lift in the chest. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, walk your hands forward one more step. Nice big inhale. Exhale, walk your hands forward one more step, but we're keeping that nice lift through the front of the body and the pinky toes are pulling back, inner thighs are nice and active. One more big breath. Exhale, walk your hands forward one more step. Cool, and then we're gonna push into the fingertips, pull the ribs back, drag your fingers as you pull your way back up nice and strong. And then we're gonna take the right left elbow into the left inner thigh, wedge against that inner thigh. So bottom ribs pull forward, take that top hand, reach it up, take a nice big side bend. Beautiful, lift up with control, take it over to the other side, right elbow to the inner thigh, wedge against that inner thigh. So bottom ribs pull forward, top hand reaches up. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, lift up, come up to that neutral spine position, swing the feet in so the soles of feet come back together and back to that Baddha Konasana or cobbler's pose. And once you've got your way there, you're gonna fold it over to your depth. So you're gonna hinge from your waist or hinge from your hips, lean your heart forward just as far as feels good to you. No shooting pain in the knees, no shooting pain in the back. If you've gone too far, lighten up just a little bit. But if all is feeling good, take two more cycles of breath. When you're ready, lift up through the crown of your head, let your heart follow, help your knees come together and we're gonna roll our way down to the ground. So find a little control as you roll your way down, curl your tailbone under, take your time, slow and controlled, roll through the spine, beautiful. And then once you've found your way down, just give yourself a second, get yourself situated, make sure your clothes and your hair are in a comfortable position. And then once you feel like you're there, Pull the right knee into your chest, extend your left leg nice and long. We're gonna get a nice firm handhold and think about pushing your knee into your hands. Hands are gonna resist, so you're pushing your knee up towards the ceiling, take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, soften, gently draw the knee into your chest. And then we're gonna open up into supine twist. So you're gonna release that little basket weave, take your knee over to the left, right arm opens up nice and wide, head turns to the right. When you're ready, pull the right knee into your chest, bring the left knee into meat, take a firm handhold, push both knees up into your hands, hands resist, take a big inhale. Exhale, soften, draw the knees in, hold on to your left knee, extend your right leg nice and long, make your basket weave around, make your basket weave around your left knee, push your left knee into your hands, hands resist, take a big inhale. As you exhale, soften, draw the knee in, and then release that basket weave and take it into supine twist, taking the left knee over and across the body to the right, left arm opens wide, head turns to the left if that feels good. Beautiful, when you're ready, pull the left knee back into your chest, bring the right knee into meat so both knees come back in. Nice firm handhold, push your knees into your hands, hands are gonna resist. Take a big inhale, exhale to soften, draw the knees in. And then we're gonna work that little balancing for the SI. So we're gonna bring our legs into a tabletop position, right hand on top of the knee, but left hand's gonna reach behind and hold the back of the thigh. So as you push your right hand into your knee, the right knee is pushing into your hand. And as you push your left thigh down, the left hand is working in the opposite direction. Hold that firm position. So the hands are pushing and pulling, the knees are pushing and pulling. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, soften, and then switch. So left hand is gonna come on top of the knee, right hand's gonna grab the back of the thigh, and then that opposite action here. So left hand pushes into the left knee, the knee pushes into the hand, the right thigh pushes into the hand, and the hand resists. Hold that resistance so everything's working. Both legs are working, both hands are working. Take a big inhale. Slow exhale and release. 
Nice, pull both knees into your chest, give yourself a light little squeeze. And then we're gonna find our way into a fish position. So you're gonna set your feet down, prop yourself up on your elbows, and then you're gonna tuck your fingertips underneath your bum. Walk your elbows in just as close as feels comfortable to you. We all have different range of motion in our shoulders. So you're gonna just go where it feels right to you. Once you feel that hugging and sensation in the backs of your shoulders, lift your chest, get that little squeeze. And then you might choose to stay here or you might choose to walk your feet nice and long and then point the toes, reach through the toes, lift through the chest, squeeze through the shoulder blades and then either head drops back or chin tucks to chest. And that's just totally up to you, whatever feels more comfortable and allows you to breathe and you should be able to swallow just a little bit. Take one nice big breath, finding that nice lifted position with the chest. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, soften a little bit, walk your feet back in, release your fingertips from underneath your bum, and then roll your way back down to the ground. Once you've found your way down, just pause for a second and notice. Notice your back of your body, notice the front of your shoulders, take the right leg across the left into a light little figure four, hands free, we're gonna lift the left leg up, and then draw your figure four in circles, go in one direction, Beautiful, draw your figure four in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then set your left foot down. We're gonna catch hold of the back of the right thigh, make a little basket weave here. Lift your right heel up towards the ceiling, flex your foot, and then we're gonna walk the hands up towards the ankle. You're gonna get a little lift in the chest and the chin, soften your nose towards your knee or bring your knee towards your nose, whichever works as a better cue for you. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then gently release it down, figure four to the other side. So left leg is gonna come across the right, hands free, lift your right leg up, take your figure four in circles, go in one direction. And then take that figure four in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, set your right foot down, left foot's gonna reach up towards the sky, a little flex in the foot, grab hold of the back of the leg, draw it in, and then walk your hands up towards your ankle. Does not matter how high you go, but you just find the reach that works good for you. And then gently draw it in, nose is coming towards the knee. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release it nice and slow and controlled, float that foot down to the ground, toe heel your feet to the outer edges of your mat, Take a couple of gentle windshield wipers here just to find that soothing softness back in the hips and a little gentle softness in the low back. And then as you start to slow down here, take a moment to notice and ask your body, where would be your best Shavasana? Would it feel good to come to constructive rest, letting the knees drop in towards each other? Would it feel good to take it into a reclined cobbler's pose and the soles of the feet together? Would it feel good to take that more traditional shape, walk your feet nice and long? And then if it's chilly or cool in the room that you're in, perhaps a pair of socks, a sweater, or throw a blanket on so that you feel nice and comfortable. And then once you've worked out all your little comfort care things, take a second to just work out all the little wiggles in your body. Make sure your back, your shoulders, your butt, your hands, your head, everything feels nice and comfortable. And then give everything a little bit of time to slow down.
Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Gently wiggle the fingers, gently wiggle the toes. Maybe invite some gentle movement into your wrists, into your ankles. Maybe some light bends of the elbows, maybe some light bends of your knees. And then if it feels really great to do so, take a big good morning stretch like a yawn. Stretch your arms up and overhead, reach through your toes. Take a nice deep breath back into your body. And then in your own way, at your own pace, start to find your way up to a comfortable seated position. So maybe you'll choose to sit up in Sukhasana, but any other seat that allows you to sit up nice and tall works great. Nice, and then as you come up to that comfortable seated position, just take a second. So wiggle into your sits bones, find that nice tall to sit spine. We're gonna bring the hands together, clap those hands together, fire up your palms, get them nice and good and hot. Take a little time here, really fire them up. Feel that little bit of heat that works all the way up into your shoulders as you use your muscles to create that friction. And then once you feel like your hands are as hot as they're gonna get, you're gonna place them right on your bony hip points. Close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. When you're ready, clap those hands together, fire up your palms, get them nice and good and hot. Take a little extra time, really feel that work all the way up into your shoulders. And then once you feel like your hands are nice and good and hot, we're gonna give ourselves a little hug. So wrap your hands around, catch your shoulders, close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Take a second to just notice which hand is on top. Clap your hands together, fire up your palms, get them nice and good and hot. And then once you feel like they're nice and good and hot, other hand comes on top, give yourself a little hug, close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. And when you're ready, release your hands, stacking them just right on top of your heart and bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, your body, and the time you take to take care of yourself. Breathe in some extra love and gratitude for your friends, for your family, for your pets. And then breathe in a whole bunch of extra love and gratitude for the ones that it's hardest to find that love and gratitude for. And when you feel ready, gently lift up to the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Tuesday.